Hey Cancer and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 general tarot reading and we'll try to pull um, broader energies but uh, whatever cards messages come out in the cards is what needs to be heard most. So take what you want, leave what you don't and enjoy the message. All right, I'm going to tip you guys down so you can see your cards come out. What does Cancer have going on in April? Whoa. All right, your first card out, the Two of Swords. Your second card out, the Fool. Your third card out, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the High Priestess. Wow. Very powerful reading. I can tell it already. All right. What energy is Cancer leaving behind in March and not taking forward in March? April. All right, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups in reverse, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse is under that. So, um, having a hard time moving away from an emotional connection, emotional um, relationship where you felt very, uh, where you put a lot of. Um, energy into it. You invested a lot emotionally and now you're just feeling drained, but you're having a hard time walking away from that. The energy you are leaving behind in the month of March and going into April releasing is the King of Swords. So you are taking action. You are cutting yourself away from a situation. You're no longer allowing your heart to um, talk your mind out of things. You are um, really taking a look at things and logically uh, rationalizing them. Logically um, having a different outlook of your future. You're cutting yourself away from a situation um, after a long time of not speaking your truth, I'm hearing. Um, you are um, leaving the energy of the past of a love offer that somebody made to you. You are not accepting this um, love offer because this person was all over the place. Um, in and out, up and down. One day they love you, the next day um, they were with somebody else. You know, Today, tomorrow, and yesterday are all different outcomes with this person. They just don't know what they want. They're very emotionally imbalanced. Um, and for some of you, they're emotionally abusive. Um, they try to like gaslight you, um, but you're leaving this person in the past. You are making the logic or you are making the, uh, the head over heart decision and cutting yourself away from this emotionally, um, Ener or this emotional energy that can't make up their mind what they want and whether they offer you their cup or not you're taking yours with you and you're you're leaving the situation. Um, if they didn't offer you their cup, it doesn't matter. You're taking your cup. This is your you. This is you and your cup. You're taking it with you in April. You are not giving it to anybody at this point in time. <clears throat> um, you're feeling very, you're feeling a surge of confidence when you do this. You're feeling very, uh, victorious in taking your emotions back, not allowing this person to emotionally manipulate you, no longer allowing this person to, um, like I said, gaslight you or try to make you think things um, that aren't are, things that are, aren't. Um, you guys know what it is. So you're feeling very victorious and very confident moving forward, um, reining your energy back in, no longer wasting your time and energy on this person who can't decide whether they want to be with you or not. If you haven't decided by now, then forget you. I don't want you is what I'm hearing because you've had plenty of time to decide if it's me or not. Um, and you're really gaining your sense of confidence back. You're gaining your self-esteem. You're feeling empowered. 
um, you are radiating self-confidence and um, this is all coming from the hard work that you've put in in healing yourself you are taking all your beautiful energy and moving forward and leaving that negative um, energy behind leaving that energy that can't make up their mind or or um, is so back and forth Coming into the month of April, you are being faced with a decision. Your first week, you have a choice to make. Um, whether or not um, you take off that blindfold or not, you are coming into the month knowing what choice you're going to make. You just haven't um, necessarily voiced your opinion yet. Why is this two of swords here? Way too many. Oh my goodness. Well, not that many actually. Okay, so... Um, you have, you have the choice. You have the choice of whether to move forward out of this emotionally uh, roller coaster, emotional roller coaster that you've been on with this person, um, and all they offer you is minuscule offers. Like it's like they're breadcrumbing you. They give you enough to keep you there waiting, but they don't love you enough to leave whoever they're with to give you this new beginning. Um, is how you're feeling. So you can either move forward, move away from this. You're um, allowing your inner guide to lead you to peaceful, tranquil waters of peace and um, a time of healing. Or you can stay and accept this breadcrumb from this person who is... Um, Every day their emotions are different. Every day their plan is different. Um, and what you are deciding to do is to stand up for yourself, Cancer. You guys are coming out of this fog. The divine is helping you navigate. This is your inner guide and this is the truth of the divine. Being blessed by the divine. This is the divine wreaths. The uh, sword of truth being handed to you by the universe. So you are allowing your inner guide to lead you out of this fog and into the path of truth, holding your own sword, um, speaking, walking, and talking your truth and leaving behind the person who doesn't, leaving behind the person who is breadcrumbing you. And that's the choice you have um, coming into April. You are moving forward single. You have a newfound sense of courage, of self-empowerment you are taking that leap of faith you don't care you are throwing caution to the wind you are transformed into a beautiful soul that has the confidence and the courage to take a chance on herself you are really um going forward in your own beautiful um transformation and and really uh and really taking having faith in yourself, knowing that you are going to be able to um, find happiness again. Why is the fool here for cancer? Oh, wow. Yeah, you are taking that leap of faith. You are getting that new beginning. You are so full of emotional contentment within yourself. Like you have filled your own cup. You have worked hard to heal, to leave all this bullshit in the past that this person caused you, that you are no longer taking into April with you. You took this leap of faith. You went through this transformation. You have confidence in yourself, and it's bringing you emotional happiness. Um, tears of joy. Somebody from the divine is going to enter your life with the dove there. Um, that's the ace of swords now and the ace of cups for you as your clarifiers. Um, Cancer, you most definitely are heading into a new beginning. And then you have the ace of pentacles here as well. You do have a brand new abundant beginning that is here for you. The universe is gifting you this, um, but it's just not quite time yet. Divine timing is at work behind the scenes here. Um, why is Ace Pentacles here in reverse? It doesn't mean it's not coming for you just because it's in reverse. Because it is still here for you. So, um, it is going to happen. But, uh, oh, jeez. But you haven't met this person yet. The universe is bringing this person into you. Is bringing you this true love. Your lover, Archangel Michael, is working behind the scenes. I was just saying that. Putting the two of you in your paths because soulmates, the lovers that come from um, the divine that are blessed by Archangel Michael, um, he's got to do a lot of work to put you two in each other's paths. So your new beginning is here for you within a month after. So 
um, within April, a month from there. So by May, you're going to meet this lover. They are going to be your divine partner. They're going to speak the truth, walk the truth, live the truth. And they're going to give you this emotional, abundant, new beginning when you take that leap in your uh, faith in yourself. And the universe is also um, giving you a gift of abundance. Cancer, holy crapola. This is amazing. So you in April are coming out of this time of darkness. You are... Um, you are truly, uh, yeah, you're truly, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're, you're finding your own light. Like you're truly coming out of the darkness. This person put you in darkness. This person put that blindfold on you, hoping you wouldn't notice what they were doing. Um, they intentionally put you in the dark um, just so they could breadcrumb you and keep you here waiting until they decided what it is that they wanted to do. And um, instead of making a decision or following their heart, they just kept you in the dark, hoping that you would stay there, hoping that, uh, that you would um, not focus on the emotional distance or, or the circumstances at hand. So, you are really forging a new path. You are getting out of this darkness and you are uh, you are allowing spiritual awareness. Yeah, this is wow. Yeah, when you put when you decide to cut yourself away from this decision, once again there is that king of swords. When you use your uh, when you allow your mind to make the decision over your heart, a head over heart decision, there we go, and cut yourself away from this situation, you're going to come out of that time of darkness. There will be no more lack. There will be no more focusing on what you don't have because your spiritual aware awareness is going to just light up your life and it's going to allow you to heal that broken heart. Um, by cutting yourself away from the situation is the only way that's going to happen though. Get yourself out of the dark and, um, and find the light and the warmth of the church or, you know, of your spiritual awareness, um, go within and allow that inner light to, to bring you out of this darkness and the cold. And that's when you'll find healing from this heartache. So Archangel Michael can bring in this true love for you. You have the Ace of Swords here in reverse. Let's see what that is in reverse for. You have so many new beginnings here on so many different levels. Cancer, it's amazing. Why is the Ace of Swords here in reverse? Okay, wow. So um, the Ace of Swords is also here for you. It's just not here for you yet. Just because it's in reverse does not mean it's going to happen. It means it's in your future. But... It's not quite time. The Ace of Swords for me is, uh, you know, weeks. So within one week, you're going to get the truth and clarity to move forward. You're going to get the truth and clarity from the divine to move out of that fog. Um, and within one month is when you're going to meet your person um, according to the time predictions. So in within a week or two, uh, Cancer, you're going to receive this awakening from the universe to get you out of this fog of this situation. They're encouraging you to continue to invest in yourself, to be patient, that this healing process does not happen overnight. Um, keep planting your seeds of intention um, with the universe so the universe knows how to guide you out of this fog. Um, plant your seeds of intention, continue to water your garden, weed out the weeds, Invest in yourself, but most importantly, be patient because the healing process does not happen overnight. But when the healing process does happen, you will have unconditional love that comes in for you. A king of cups in the upright, a man who is sure or a person who is sure of his emotions, knows how he feels, knows who he loves, isn't afraid to show it, will withstand you through rough waters and calm waters and um, share a life of love with you. And then a new beginning with the Ace of Wands as well. You now have all four Aces out on the ground. Um, 
that is just amazing. All four aces on the ground and clarifiers here, as well as the lovers. And then you have the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles coming in for you. How, be how much better does it get? You are being encouraged to listen to your intuition. The universe is trying to guide you. Your inner voice is trying to lead you to this path of clarity, to this um, spiritual awareness, and out of this lack of um, uncertain or this lack of confidence, this uncertainty of your future. Listen to your inner voice. The universe is trying to guide you. You have the intuitive um, gifts. You have the connection to source as you go through this transformation to know what direction to go in. The high priestess is also someone who's very connected to source. Your gifts will get stronger the more you um, listen to your intuition. Why is the high priestess here? This is also somebody who is calling in or manifesting in a true soulmate, a yin to the yang, uh, you know, a light to the dark, and oh my god, it's going to lead you right into the path of a long-term commitment with this person. Somebody who's very connected to source. Um, once again, the Hierophant is somebody who is also very connected um, in, in a way, um, like in a, uh, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? This person, like, knows what they want. This person coming in for you, the lovers and the Hierophant, are you kidding me? This is a spiritual connection at the highest. Then it's being clear or it's clarifying the highest connection to source with the high priestess. That is for me anyways, with the gift of the universe. I mean, cancer, this is amazing. This is uh, a, a true life partner for some of you because one and seven for me is life partners. Wow, the archangels are putting you in the path to um, each other. But this is uh, most definitely a connection of one out of this world, a divine connection that is going to um, that's going to serve you a, a lifetime of love and happiness and truth. It's going to um, ascend to a higher level of commitment. Because this is a divine partner that the angels are putting in your path. This is somebody who's going to love you through thick and thin. You just have to listen to your inner voice, your inner guide, as it guides you through this healing process. Be patient. This process doesn't happen overnight. But cut yourself away from this situation that is holding you back with this person that is offering you breadcrumbs. Because it's only holding you back from the love of that you are meant to have. Um, for... At the very least, this is a life partner for those of you who this is resonating with. Um, for a lot of you, this is a soulmate. A soulmate that is here for a lifetime or a twin flame connection. This is a divine partnership, however way you want to look at it. However way you want to word it, this is a heaven-sent relationship that will stick with you until you leave this earth. So, all right, Cancers, what do you have for our angel message. All right. I got chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connection here. And this could be the one. Your romantic partner is coming in for you. So it is so important to clear your energy. Clear the... Um, Clear your energy so you can start beginning on working on that um, healing. The divine is going to move you into this relationship. They are moving you and guiding you into the one you're meant to spend the rest of your life with. And when you meet this person, you'll know because the chemistry between the two of you will be so electrically charged, you won't be able to ignore it. You won't be able to describe it, explain it. Um, you are just meant to enjoy it. So allow it to come in and know that you deserve this cancer. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful month of April. I send you love, light, and a beautiful, God-blessed month.